Have you ever wondered what the sun would sound like if we could hear it? Well, prepare to have your mind blown because it turns out the sun is a veritable cosmic rock concert. Yes, our familiar warm glowing sphere is in reality, an astronomical cauldron of molten fury, belting out a symphony of sound so intense, it would make a jet engine sound like a whisper. But why can't we hear this fiery symphony? It's not because we're too far away nor because we're not listening carefully enough. The reason is actually quite simple and yet profoundly counterintuitive. Space is a vacuum. This means there are no air molecules to carry the sound waves from the sun to our ears. So despite its raging intensity, the sun's symphony is locked away in a silent vacuum. Yet the sun's surface, boiling and churning with superheated plasma, generates sound waves unlike anything we experience here on Earth. Imagine the sound of massive ocean waves but made of fiery gas. The explosive movements on the sun's surface create a deafening roar, estimated by scientists to be around 100 decibels. That's the same as standing next to a rock concert or a busy nightclub. However, there is a twist in this tale. We might not be able to hear the sun's symphony directly but that doesn't mean we're entirely deaf to its cosmic performance. Spacecraft can actually tune in to the sun through the solar wind which carries vibrations similar to sound waves. It's like tuning into a cosmic radio station on a frequency humans can't directly perceive. So the big question is, how do we know the sun is loud if we can't hear it? Stay tuned, as we dive deeper into the science behind the sun's silent symphony in the next scene. Get ready to explore the unseen, unheard but incredibly loud world of our nearest star. A world that's more vibrant and dynamic than we could ever imagine. Imagine a cauldron of molten fury. That's essentially the sun's surface, boiling with superheated plasma in constant turmoil. It's a tempestuous sea of fiery gas, where the waves are more akin to explosive movements rather than gently rolling swells. This ceaseless churning and bubbling is far from silent. In fact, it's creating a thunderous noise that's resonating throughout the sun. Now let's talk about sound. Here on Earth, when you bang a drum or strum a guitar, you're creating vibrations in the air molecules around you. These vibrations travel as waves, reach our ears, and voila, we hear sound. The sun's surface operates on a similar principle with one key difference. The medium isn't air, but plasma. The sun's surface or photosphere is a roiling chaotic layer of plasma. Plasma, in case you're wondering, is a state of matter where atoms have been stripped of their electrons, creating a soup of charged particles. When this plasma moves it creates pressure waves which are essentially sound waves. As these waves ripple through the sun's plasma, they generate a mind-boggling amount of noise. To put things into perspective, imagine standing next to a jet engine. Now, amplify that noise a hundredfold. That's the kind of sound levels we're talking about. Scientists estimate the sun's surface roars at a whopping 100 decibels. We're talking rock concert or busy nightclub levels of noise, enough to make your teeth rattle and your ears ring. But here's the twist, the sun's epic scream never reaches our ears directly. Remember, space is a vacuum, devoid of air molecules that carry sound. So, despite the sun's surface being a cacophonous concert of cosmic proportions, it's locked away in its own silent bubble. The sun's sonorous symphony, as intense as it is, plays out in a silent vacuum of space. Space, as you might know, is a vacuum. There are no air molecules to carry sound waves like we have here on Earth. It's like trying to have a conversation underwater with your mouth full of marbles, Sound just doesn't travel the same way. But here's where it gets interesting, the sun's roiling surface, that fiery ocean of plasma is constantly emitting sound waves. These waves however, are not like the ones we're used to, they're more akin to seismic waves like those caused by earthquakes. They ripple and reverberate through the sun's body causing it to oscillate and vibrate. Now you might be wondering if space is a vacuum how can we detect these sound waves? Well it's all thanks to the solar wind, a stream of charged particles that the sun constantly blasts out into space. This solar wind carries the sun's vibrations out into the cosmos. Spacecraft equipped with the right instruments can pick up these vibrations. They're like cosmic seismographs listening to the sun's heartbeat. It's not sound as we know it, but it's the closest thing we have to hearing the sun scream. And what a scream it is. If we could hear it, the sun's roar would drown out everything else, a constant deafening drone louder than any sound on Earth. But because space is a vacuum, this cosmic concert remains unheard by human ears. However, this doesn't mean we're completely deaf to the sun. These solar wind vibrations give us valuable information about our star. By studying them, scientists can learn about the sun's internal structure. 
its temperature, its magnetic field, and much more. So, while we can't hear the sun, we're not completely deaf to its fury. We're tapping into its silent symphony, learning its secrets, and using this knowledge to deepen our understanding of the universe. It's just one more reminder of how amazing, and surprising, the cosmos can be. Even though we can't hear it, the sun is playing a cosmic concert, vibrating at frequencies we can't directly perceive. Just like a rock band jamming out on an interstellar stage, our sun is belting out its own brand of cosmic music. But instead of electric guitars and drum sets, the sun uses its superheated plasma and intense magnetic fields to create a symphony of sound waves. These sound waves, or more accurately vibrations, are eerily similar to the sounds we're familiar with here on Earth. They're just transmitted differently. Instead of moving through the air as changes in pressure, these solar vibrations ripple through the sun's plasma in a process known as magnetohydrodynamics. It's a mouthful, right? But it's just a fancy way of saying that the sun's sounds are carried by its magnetic fields and its plasma, the superheated gas that makes up most of its composition. And here's where it gets really fascinating. These vibrations don't just stay confined to the sun, they actually ripple out into space, carried by the solar wind. This constant stream of charged particles flowing from the sun can be heard by our spacecraft. It's as if they're tuning into a cosmic radio station picking up the sun's symphony on a frequency that our human ears can't perceive. These solar vibrations or songs can tell us a lot about the sun. By listening to them, scientists can learn about the sun's internal structure, its temperature, and its magnetic fields. It's like doing a cosmic CAT scan, peering beneath the sun's fiery surface to understand its inner workings. So, what does this all mean for us? Well, it's a reminder that our universe is teeming with unseen wonders. It's a symphony of sounds, a concert of cosmic vibrations, all playing out on an unimaginable scale. It's a testament to the power and complexity of the sun, our nearest star. And it's a reminder that even in the silence of space, there's a cacophony of cosmic sounds just waiting to be discovered. So keep your ears open and your mind ready for the next mind-blowing revelation from our vast and vibrant universe. The sun's silent scream tells us that the universe is far more dynamic and vibrant than we can perceive with our senses. The cosmos is a grand orchestra, each celestial body playing its own unique part. Our sun, this gargantuan ball of fiery energy, is not just a source of light and warmth. It's a cosmic maestro, conducting a symphony so powerful, so intense, that it would make any rock concert seem like a soft lullaby. Yet, this symphony is unlike any we've ever heard. It's a concert played on a scale so vast with instruments so alien that it transcends our everyday understanding of sound. It's a symphony written in the language of energy and vibration, carried on the solar wind like a cosmic message in a bottle. This silent scream, this unheard symphony is a testament to the sun's raw, unbridled power. It's a reminder of the sun's relentless energy constantly churning, boiling, exploding in a ceaseless dance of creation and destruction. And what does this mean for us, the humble audience on this blue-green stage of Earth? It means that we are part of a universe that is more complex, more fascinating, and more extraordinary than we ever imagined. It's a call to look beyond our immediate surroundings and venture into the unknown, to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos and our place within it. So next time you bask in the sun's gentle rays, think about its unheard symphony. Consider the raging inferno beneath that warm light, the deafening roar of its surface, the powerful vibrations carried on the solar wind. It's a symphony that we might never hear with our ears, but one we can feel in our hearts and minds. Remember, the sun might just be the loudest rock star in the Milky Way, 